Hey everyone, welcome back to Land of the Wombats. It's Chris here again, and look at today. It is stunning today. What a beautiful winter's day. It's cold though. Oh, look at me, I'm absolutely rugged up to the nines. Today we are actually doing firewood, and firewood is uh, our main heating fuel here. We cannot use gas. It's $200 for a 45 kilo bottle delivered, and that's a 100 pound bottle in uh, US language and in addition to that you pay $140 a year in rental so gas is not an option for heating. Uh, many of you are aware that we have uh, an off-grid solar power system and you make plenty of power today but uh, most days you don't over winter. Very few days are as beautiful as today and um, we're generating plenty of power today. Other days that's not happening so using electricity is not an option off-grid for, for heating. So we have the third option is firewood. Oh, of course you can always go without. I, I don't like the sound of that. But we have firewood and what we're going to do today is um, split up heaps of it. Now you may think that we've been dropping trees like crazy but that's not actually the case. This was a very cheap block of land when we bought it. It's probably about half the cost of what you pay for a um, suburban outer outer suburban housing estate and what has happened was over a hundred years loggers have been through the area and you can see we've got some amazingly tall trees those are left because they've got hollow cores or you know whatever reason the, the the loggers didn't take them but they did leave a huge amount of firewood and you can see like this monster behind me that'll provide weeks and weeks of firewood and then so over the, over the last 18 years, Sandra and I have been just going up, we, we disc up what's, what's on the ground and then we split it up and it produces lots of firewood. Um, and a couple of weeks ago, we found some amazing cables where um, you can see the, uh, the loggers would have pulled over the, um, the trees using a bulldozer and cables. Now look at these monsters and they're broken. <laughs> That's crazy. Look at the damage to that. When that cable split, the tension on it must have been incredible. It would have whipped around and um, certainly hit something. Um, and the loggers, they sort of probably just left it there. So it's an old uh, memento of what they used to do. Yeah, so we don't have the technology to do that. And imagine even trying to tie a knot into that, that cable. I mean, that's a heavy, heavy cable. I reckon at least, I'm feeling it's about maybe 15 kilos, which is about 30 pounds. So that's crazy. I can't even begin to imagine um, the forces that were exerted on the cable to break it that day. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into the job. Just before we start processing some of the firewood discs that we've cut up, I thought it was worthwhile having a look around. This is what we're dealing with. This is the mess that the loggers have left 100 years. Now this tree next to me that you, you saw at the start of the pan was, that was probably about a 300 year old tree and it's just dropped, dragged there. That's probably what broke the cables. I mean, it's, it's such a crazy waste of timber that I can't even fathom what happened that day. Essentially, you know, this is the sort of mess that we're cleaning up. Now you might go, well, why wouldn't you just leave it to break down? Well, you know, these trees have been here. They, had, they bear the scars of the 1983 Ash Wednesday fires. Now, that was over 40 years ago, and they're still solid timber. They're not going to break down. Nothing lives on them. Nothing, nothing eats them. There is no feed here for any of the forest critters to eat. So nothing lives here, um, and it's just such an extraordinary waste. So we're slowly cleaning it up. Um, I look at these as a, as a resource to be used, and you know, it cleans up. The area starts growing new plants. Um, the sunlight gets into here, there's less plant diseases. You can see many of the trees that are growing here are on funny angles. They're unhealthy. There's, there's a lot of fungal diseases in, in in the soil here so it's not good and essentially once this area is cleaned up 
uh, plants will start growing here and it will just be a whole new place and you'll it'll um, it will actually encourage a lot more life in the forest because at the moment there's nothing for anything to eat here other than the termites so on to the splitting splitting logs is uh, fairly easy when you've got the right equipment what we're going to do is pick up one of these logs now sorry about the noise the equipment makes a lot of noise usually I wear earmuffs but today I'm on the on the camera so let's worry about that later so pick up a log Chuck it on the machine, pull the handle, it's all hydraulic. And you can split them into firewood sized planks. I chuck them straight into the um into the power wheelbarrow. Saves double handling. Once that load's full, I'll take it up the hill. This is really easy. A good log splitter makes life a lot easier. This uses very, very little fuel. You can see how quick it is. But the old timers would have killed for one of these machines. And we've um, also got an electric log splitter, so we can do this with electricity if we want, but. Being um, just out of the uh, winter solstice, it's um, we just don't have enough power to run it on electricity. So petrol it is. Awesome, thanks. This is what a full load of firewood looks like. So all I gotta do now is drive it up the hill. This is a four-wheel drive power wheelbarrow. It's a beast of a machine. Can um, t easily take 300 kilos, which is about 660 pounds up the hill no dramas this is light compared to what the machine can do and all we gotta do drive it up the hill so i'll be seeing you thanks for watching check this out At the end of the journey, we just keep all of the firewood in this area to dry out in the um, sun for the next probably six months before we before we put it away. It gets down to a um, moisture content of about 14%, which is absolutely perfect firewood. So anyway, unloading it here is going to be the easiest thing in the planet. So all you got to do is just dump this. That's done. Thanks for watching.